In this video, I'll show you how to convert a curve object to a mesh object in Blender so it actually has vertices, edges, and faces. And you may want to convert a curve to a mesh object for many reasons, like editing it in edit mode, sculpting the curve, adding object modifiers, or even UV unwrapping or adding textures. Because with a regular curve object, if you go into edit mode, you can move around the curve handles, but you can't edit the physical geometry until you convert it to a mesh. Now if you have a curve without any thickness and you want to add thickness to your curve, then you can just go here to the object data properties, you can go to the geometry tab and then go to bevel, and then you can just turn up the bevel depth, and that's a quick and easy way to add thickness to your curve. So to convert this curve to a mesh, you just want to go to object mode, and then you want to click on object, and you want to click on convert, and then click on mesh. So now if I hit tab to go into edit mode, you can see the curve actually has vertices, edges, and faces. However, I'm now not able to edit the curve handles, so make sure you don't convert a curve to a mesh into until you're done creating the shape of the curve. Now I'm also not really able to change the thickness of the curve using that bevel option on the curve settings, however if I go into edit mode and select everything with the A key, I can press Alt S, and Alt S is going to scale the faces along the normals, so the direction that the face is pointing, so that is an easy way to change the thickness of it after you've converted it to a mesh. Another way to convert a curve to a mesh is to go back to object mode and right click for the object context menu, and then you can just click on convert to and mesh, and that'll also convert it to a mesh. And there's also another way to do this, so if you're in object mode, what you can do is press control A for the apply menu, and you can see there is this visual geometry to mesh, so if you click on visual geometry to mesh, that's also going to apply it and convert it to a mesh. Now if you have a curve object, but the curve object doesn't have any thickness and you apply it, so I'll hit Control A, Visual Geometry to Mesh. Now if I apply this curve, you can see it has vertices and edges, but because it doesn't have any visible faces, there isn't actually any thickness to it. So that might be useful in some cases, maybe you do want to actually just add like a thin object like this, but in most cases you'd probably want to first turn up the bevel depth to get some thickness, and then you can apply it to a mesh. Now if you applied the curve to a mesh object but it doesn't have any thickness and you want to give it some thickness, what you can do is go here to the modifiers and you can click on add modifier and you can add the skin modifier. So you can see the skin modifier is going to give it thickness, then I can also add the subdivision surface modifier and that's kind of going to smooth it out. And then I'll just click on the smooth shading here on the skin modifier and maybe turn up the subdivision. So this isn't actually a curve object, if I go into edit mode you can see I can still move around the vertices and edges and I can hit E to extrude this out. So it's isn't actually a curve object, but it kind of works like a curve. And if you want to change the thickness of the skin modifier, you can hit the A key to select the entire mesh, and then press Ctrl A, and you can move your mouse up and down, and that'll change the thickness of the skin modifier. Now maybe you're using a geometry nodes curve instead, and you're wondering how to convert that to a mesh. So I'm going to add new geometry nodes, and I'm going to search for a curve line and put that into the geometry and delete the input. Then I'm going to search for curve to mesh, and I'll put the curve to mesh after the curve line. And then what I can also do is search for circle, and I can add a curve circle, and I can put the curve into the profile curve. And then let's just turn down the radius. So you can see I've just created a simple curve here in the geometry nodes. But if I try to go into edit mode, it's just using the original mesh object. So to convert this, you need to go to the side panel and you need to go to the modifiers. And geometry nodes is a modifier just like any other modifier. So to convert this to a mesh object, you'll just click on the drop down and you'll just apply the modifier just like you apply other modifiers. And now you can see if I go into edit mode, you can see it's actual geometry. And using geometry nodes, you can also press Control A and you can do the visual geometry to mesh. And now you can see it's applied that modifier. Now you may also have a more complicated geometry node setup and you might be wondering how to convert that to a mesh object. So this is my customizable Christmas lights created with geometry nodes and I'll have a link in the video description to the product and tutorial. But if I just click on the drop down and try to apply this, you can see it says cannot apply constructive modifiers to curve, convert to mesh in order to apply. Well if I just select the object, I can just do the same thing, so I can click on object, convert, and I can convert it to mesh. Well, when I did that, you can see now if I go into edit mode, you can see the Christmas lights have been applied to a mesh, but the Christmas lights have actually disappeared. And so that's because the Christmas light objects are an instance. So what you want to do at the very end of your node setup is you want to go to the add menu, and you want to search for realize instances, and you want to put this after the join geometry. So instead of the Christmas lights being an instance, it's going to be actual geometry. Then you could just click on object, and you can convert to a mesh, and now you can see if I go into edit mode, you can see it's all been converted to a mesh. 
Now in Blender version 5.0, there is a really useful modifier called curve to tube. So in Blender version 5, if you go to a curve object and go to the modifiers and search for curve, you can add curve to tube. So this is a really useful modifier for also giving it thickness. And there's some other settings and things you can do the curve. I do have a tutorial link is in the description if you want to check that out. But if I click on the drop down and try to apply this, you can see we're getting that same error. So it can't apply constructive modifiers on curve. So we just want to do the same thing. So you can click on object, convert, and you can convert it to a mesh. You can also press control A and you can click on visual geometry to mesh, or you can just use the object context menu and go to convert to mesh. So those are the main ways to convert a curve to a mesh. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you'd like to learn all about curves in Blender, then I do have a video on how to use curves for beginners. So you can check out that video linked in the description. And you can also check out my Blender Quick Tips playlist to watch more Quick Tip videos. And I also have a video covering all the new modifiers in Blender version 5.0, and I cover the curve to tube modifier. So you can check out those videos if you're interested in the description. So I hope you found this helpful, and thank you for watching.